Hey guys, Richard Wolf with Med Fitness. I'm out in the parking lot of Barnes & Noble, about to go in, doing some preparation for my annual book review. Uh, this brings up a question. Who should you believe when it comes to fitness and nutrition advice? Consumers have it tough these days. There is an enormous amount of information, both in print and online, and it makes it very difficult to decipher through all the conflicting opinions and theories that exist when it comes to uh, nutrition and productive exercise, especially strength training. So often I'll get the question, why should I believe you? And the answer is, you shouldn't believe what I say. Your job is to develop your own informed opinion. Three ways to do that. Number one, put on your thinking cap. Everyone has the ability to ask questions and ask the right questions and be logically minded when they're entering into a conversation about nutrition and fitness. So put on your thinking cap. Number two is speak to credentialed health and fitness professionals, people who have degrees, licenses, and or certifications in this area. Those are the people who are more likely to give you valuable evidence-based information. It doesn't guarantee that you get the absolute best advice, but speaking to people who have degrees, licenses, and certifications in health and fitness is a big step in the right direction. Don't just take your fitness information from anyone on the street. And lastly, take time to put together the information you've gained from speaking with various professionals, asking good questions to develop your own informed opinion. This is day 18 of Train Like a Champion.